This is the Central Park or Central Plaza of Quetzaltenango, also known as Shela. This city is on the far western side of Guatemala, about a four to five hour drive from Antigua or Guatemala City. But first, before we go any further, my tour guide Luis is going to take us above Shela to show us the view. Okay, I'm here in uh, Quetzaltenango. This is uh, a very large city, also known as Chela. That's a, sort of, I guess, a nickname for the city that a lot of people, if you actually refer to Quetzaltenango, most of the locals actually will just refer to it, not just the locals here, but in Guatemala, will refer to it as Chela. So uh, anyway, it's a very large city, as you can see. We're up here um, at something that looks a lot like I, what I've seen in Antigua, Cerro de la Cruz, um, except, uh, what is this one called again? Baul. Baul? Baul, El Baul. Baul. This is called ba Baul. Uh, maybe I'll put a little caption with uh, how you spell that. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this is a huge city, not quite as big as Guatemala City, which is the number one biggest city, uh, but uh, but maybe about half the size of Guatemala City. And so it's uh, it's really huge. I mean, I'm getting a really great view of it. I, and I literally just arrived here in the last couple hours. So this is my very first uh, uh, really view of, of Shela, and uh, we're gonna go explore it now. And so, but this is a great spot to come up and, um, uh, and you, we drove up here because we're, we got some time limitations, uh, but it would probably be like an hour to an hour and a half to hike up here from the center of the city because we were down right in the center there uh, behind the cross. And uh, so that would have been quite a, quite a walk, but you could, we saw a lot of people biking and walking and even running and God bless them. They're working hard on a Saturday morning. So, all right, welcome to Shayla. Okay, so I'm uh, okay, so I'm with Luis here. Luis uh, is giving me a, a, a tour of the city, uh, and Luis, can you uh, can you correct the record for what I just said about Shela? <laughs> okay, so basically, Shela comes from the indigenous Kiche name of this the town. So the area is called Shela Huch Noh, comes from the Kiche Maya language, and Noh means wisdom. See, and Shela Huch Noh basically is meant are surrounded by the ten wisdoms. Mm. You know? She is the mountains, the, and Lahu is the number ten in Kiche. So, so each of these, uh, a lot of a lot of um, cities in, in Guatemala have two names. Yeah, that that that's uh, correct. When the Spanish people came to Guatemala, they bring with the Nahuatl people from Mexico. See, and most of the names that. Towns in Guatemala has comes from the Nahuatl. Even Guatemala comes from the Nahuatl, Cuauhtemala. It's uh, the town with many trees. Basically. Ah. The name of Guatemala in the Mayan language is Ishimuleu, which is the town of the corn. You know? Uh, yeah. So Quetzaltenango comes from the Nahuatl. This ending Tenango means the land of, and Quetzal is the bird, no? So it's the land of the Quetzales. So the Spanish called it Quetzaltenango. Yeah, the Spanish called it And the indigenous here called it Shela. Shelahu. 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 And the short name of that is Shela, and that's the most common name of the city. Awesome. Thank you, Luis. You're welcome. You know, this is why when you travel, it's so vital to connect with the locals. They will tell you way more than you'd probably discover on your own. Speaking of locals, this park where Cerro El Baú is located is a great place locals like coming to, including family outings like this one. So these are the, uh, these are the warm-up slides over here. When you master this, you get to go on the big slide. Okay, this is at El Ba'u, and this is a water tower here. And so, you know, we were just down from the uh, from where the cross is here on the side of the mountain. This is Tecuniman. Tecuniman. My my Maya is getting so much better. <laughs> my my Tecuniman. So here he is. He's a national hero here in Guatemala. He fought the Spanish in the 1500s. Uh, he's of Mayan descent, right? So the Maya had kind of disappeared, I guess you could say, before the Spanish got here, but, uh, you know, a lot of different ethnic uh, tribes. Um, so Tecuniman fought, but uh, he insisted on fighting alone. <laughs> uh, I don't know, when I first heard that story, I thought David and Goliath, right? Well, unfortunately, when you fight alone, <laughs> probably not going to eventually win. So he lost, he was killed. Uh, so Luis here, my guide, just told me that uh, there's a legend here in Guatemala. So, that, of course, that the, uh, the Quetzal... The, uh, 
the Quetzal, right, is the national bird. Uh, I still haven't seen one in person. I'm uh, hoping I'll have a magical moment one day in Guatemala and I'll see a Quetzal. But uh, the legend has it that when uh, Tecun, Tecuniman uh, died on the battlefield, he had blood coming out of his chest and a Quetzal came out and landed on him. And that's why the Quetzal today has, has, has red, right? So that's on, on, on there. So that, that's the legend. But of course, this is a really crazy monument because this monument actually honors not Tecuniman, who was in the 1500s, but it honors uh, one of the early presidents of Guatemala in the 1800s, Justo uh, Rufino Barrios, uh, who did a lot of, I guess you could say he did a lot of great reforms for Guatemala. He started the coffee, all these sorts of things but it uh, wasn't so great for the indigenous uh, people. So the indigenous don't see, and actually a lot of problems uh, going into the late 19th and early 20th century, uh, and, and maybe what later led to this civil war and later in the 20th century, kind of started with some of these problems um, under Barrios. But a lot of people in the country, there's a lot of monuments in the country, I understand, and there's a lot of uh, people that do like him and look back at, a, at that time as a lot of good things for Guatemala. But unfortunately, uh, the indigenous, he, he wasn't too kind to them, put them to work, uh, almost like slave labor in some ways, right? Mm -hmm. but, uh, but this is a, this monument is not to Tecuniman, it's to Barrios, but Tecuniman is featured very pr prominently here, so I don't know the full story on this, but I think the uh, the indigenous populations out here in Quetzaltenango probably said, well, if we're going to make a, uh, uh, a monument to Barrios, we're going to put one of our heroes on there. And so that seems to be what's going on here. I'm not really sure, but I, I found it super interesting. <laughs> well, let's go back into the center of Quetzaltenango or Shela and see a little more in and around the Central Park. Since I was with Luis and another local guide named Carlos, they knew who to ask to get us a guided tour inside here, the municipal government building for the province of Quetzaltenango. It's not just the name of the city, but also the name of the entire province. Really beautiful grounds inside and such a pleasure to get the opportunity to get a private tour here. The Central Plaza is also filled with old historic buildings that also include modern day businesses such as what else? McDonald's. So we have the beautiful Central Park in Quetzaltenango or Shela and what do we have here? We have COVID tape. So it's okay to congregate here. But this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Danger, danger, danger. Okay. So, there are people inside the park. Oh boy, they're going to get in trouble with the mayor. <laughs> well, we hopped past the tape too. Apparently, it was okay to go in the Central Park for a few minutes to get some pictures. Or, you know, at least no one stopped us. The neoclassical architecture here in Quetzaltenango is very beautiful. I mean, how many people back home would believe that this is what Guatemala's second largest city looks like? Remember former Guatemala president Justo Rufino Barrios? Well, here he is again in the Central Park.
What prompted my visit to Shayla was to visit my friend Rosemary and meet her two-month-old son, Santiago. We met for lunch at this really great place called Tertuliano's. I highly recommend it. Lunch was delicious. And do not worry, they will not make you do the dishes after lunch. But there is a beautiful wall of dishes that you can admire. Right off the Central Park here in Shayla is a great indoor plaza with some shops, restaurants, and bars. A great place to eat and drink, especially in the evenings. I was here in Shayla on Halloween weekend, so the Central Park was packed. And I suppose people eventually ignored that yellow caution tape we saw earlier. Remember the tape that was trying to keep people out of the park due to COVID concerns? Well, I suppose it took a holiday like Halloween to help the people of Shayla make the Central Park feel a little bit more like the one that I've experienced time and again in Antigua. And this one was hopping all night long. And oh yeah, that yellow caution tape. I didn't see it anywhere except here on the ground. Well, it's the day after Halloween. Last night there were hundreds and hundreds of people in this park. I, it looked like they must have just been there of their own volition, like no one stopped them because there was no tape. And some of the tape was on the ground. And now here we are, less than 12 hours later, and we're back to freaking COVID stupidity. Can't go in the park because it's dangerous. Unbelievable. Of course, every Guatemala morning starts with the best coffee on earth, Guatemalan coffee, of course. And when you're in Shela, you got to go to Shela Pan uh, to get these amazing shekas. With, uh, different things. I like the jamon and queso, ham and cheese. Prices are amazing. These are in Quetzales. Here they are making them. Hard at work. It's uh, it's hard to describe the sheka. Not too much. It, it almost feels like the the softness of a donut, but um, inside. Uh, they got all sorts of stuff. So this one's jamón y queso. Mmm. And you can see, it's really good. And I got another one in there with some jam. So I really love these. When you come to Shayla, come to Shayla Pan, and uh, you'll get these amazing shakas. They're really, really great. And something you really only can get here, even in other parts of Guatemala, they don't really have these as much, at least not the original shaka. I was also here on November 1st, All Saints Day, and the Guatemalans have a unique entree called fiambre just for that day of the year, which we were also able to find at Xelapan. And another place that Rosemary and Santiago took me while I was in Xela was to this great cafe called Baviera Cafe. They had some great coffee, tea, hot chocolate, amazing desserts, and it's also right off the Central Park. Well, they've got so many old historic photos here on the wall in this cafe and Shayla. These are all things related to Guatemala, but wait, what the heck? Walt Disney, that's Disneyland. Walt Disney at Disneyland. Is there a Guatemalan in there? While the mouse may be everywhere around the world, the stray dogs are in just about every city in Guatemala, including this pack of dogs that just seem to own the neighborhood here in Zone 1 in Shayla. And what's really amazing is how smart these dogs are. They even look both ways before crossing the street. Well, I've had a great uh, three days in Quetzaltenango, otherwise known as Shela. And as you can see, it's just a beautiful, I'm in zone one right here, uh, right at the center of the city. The Central Park is just right behind me, a block down. Here's some of the morning traffic on a Tuesday morning coming into it. 
but otherwise pretty quiet and uh and you can see the mountains behind me. I mean, it's just a beautifully situated town. It's about half the size of uh, Guatemala City, which is a huge city. Uh, so this is the second largest city in um, Guatemala. And, you know, much bigger than Antigua, but kind of still has a feeling like you could walk around it a lot like Antigua. Uh, very, very safe uh, city. And um, so much, much safer. I mean, I feel pretty safe in Guatemala City, but much safer. Um, I could even walk around here a little bit at night. Not too late, but at least after the sun goes down and I uh, feel pretty safe. So I've had a great time here in Shela. I uh, definitely look forward to coming back in the future. There's plenty of volcanoes around the hike if you want to do that and lots of other uh, great historic uh, places here on the very far western side of Guatemala. So uh, the fearless journey continues here through Guatemala, another great, beautiful city, Shayla.